I see many students get confused in these terms that is probability mass function PMF, probability density function PDF and cumulative distribution function or CDF. In today's class we will look into all these things and we will try to understand from very beginning. Okay. So before knowing all these terms we need to know from where these terms have come. Let's go ahead and see what is a random variable. Okay, so random variable is a set of possible value from any random experiment. Okay, now random variable can be of two types, discrete random variable or continuous random variable. As the name suggests, discrete random variable are the random variables in which the experiment gives us the discrete value. Whereas continuous random variables are the set of random variables where output of the experiment is continuous. Now let's take one example okay so if we go ahead and see the example number of heads in an experiment of tossing two coins now if i have to draw a sample space of tossing two coins okay what would it be it's a tt or th or ht or hh right t stands for tail and h stands for heads okay now x gives the frequency of the number of heads. That is exactly our experiment was. So x can take a value 0, 1 or 2 stands for 0 as in number of heads is 0 or 1 where the number of heads is 1 or 2 stands for number of heads as 2. Okay. Now if, if I have to see the probability of the occurrence then probability of head appearing zero times is 1 by total that is 4 1 by 4 yes occurrence of one time gives us the probability of 2 by 4 which is 1 by 2 and similarly 2 as 1 by 4 okay so now we have tabulated the probability of all the frequencies of x okay now if I have to draw it on a graph then this would be my graph okay where the x-axis represents the number of occurrences of the heads and the y-axis denotes the probability of x okay now as we can see the probability in the case of h is equal to 0 times is 1 by 4 frequency of occurrence of h as 1 is 1 by 2 and frequency of occurrence of h as 2 has 1 by 4 okay now brace yourself like the probability mass function or pmf is nothing but the distribution of probabilities of the occurrences okay now how the probability is being distributed okay all the individual values okay so if i have to ask you what is the probability of occurrence of 2 you will give me 1 by 4 from this particular table or this particular graph okay but what is cumulative distribution function then see cumulative distribution function is common to both probability mass function as well as probability density function which we will see later okay now this is nothing but the cumulative probability of all the occurrences okay so we are going to see that in the next so if i change this graph cumulative probability distribution this is how my graph would look like on the y-axis we will have 1 by 4 1 by 2 3 by 4 and 1 okay now probability or cdf of 0 is given by probability of 0 occurrence of 0 right of occurrence of x as probability of occurrence of head 0 times similarly 1 is probability of 0 plus probability of 1 whereas cdf of 2 is given as probability of occurrence of 0 plus probability of occurrence of 1 plus probability of occurrence of 2 okay so that means cdf is taking everything on the left right remember this term because when we will be discussing the cdf for continuous random variables this would be our key to understand those okay 
So I hope now you understand what is a probability mass function and what is a CDF or cumulative distribution function of discrete variable, right? Now going ahead, we have continuous variables and we have defined the continuous variables as the output of our experiment is continuous. Now one of the examples could be the height or weight of the students of my class. That is a continuous variables. Why we say that? Because if I have to plot the distribution of weight of students of my class, so between two weights, the possibility of weights are infinite. So what I mean to say is, for example, if I have 150.5 as a weight and 150.6 as a weight in between these two, I can have 150.58 or 150.583 or 150.5839 or it can be anything like 150.5839214 so our scale will end but this possibility won't end so that is precisely the definition of a continuous variable right so if in one line i have to define the probability density function i can tell it as it is the probability distribution of the continuous random variable okay so this is nothing but if i plot the probability distribution of continuous variable then it will give me the probability density function. So this is nothing but probability distribution of continuous variable. Now, now assuming that I'm plotting the weight of my class, okay. Now, if I have to calculate the probability in continuous variable, that is area, area swept. So area swept will give me the probability and that is precisely the reason that I am not able to calculate what is the probability of A. Why? Because that is a line and we know that area of line say x is equal to A, this is x and say this is y, okay, is equal to nothing but 0. So, this particular probability will give zero. So, that is the reason whenever we talk about the probability of a continuous variable, we always talk in an interval. How? Let's see in the next slide. Now, say I have to get the probability of a weight which is equal to A. Okay. Okay. So, since in this way, I cannot do Another way is to identify two points, one to the left and one to the right of A, okay? What I'll do is, since I know the probability is given by area under the curve, which is in turn not the summation because it is a continuous variable. So in continuous variable, we use integration to the, say it is A minus X, and this is a plus x to the right. So if I give this integration of fx dx, this, this, the equation is fx and we are integrating it, okay? Now, this will give me the probability of it provided x is very small, okay? So we will use this, we will use this particular property while calculating the probability of any interval. Just remember we always have to calculate the probability of an interval. Okay. So, so if I have to tell you what is the probability of height less than or, or, or weight less than say 150 LB. Okay. So weight less than. So that is nothing but integration from minus infinity to 150 of fxt. Right. So that is all the weight which is to the left of this particular weight, okay? So if I have to calculate the probability of a continuous function, I always have to take the area for that particular interval. That means we always need to have an interval.
for continuous variable we cannot calculate the probability of a particular point that is the only restriction we have here and that is the reason PDF is different from PMF okay so here we always will have an area associated with it so probability density function is nothing but the probability of continuous variable now the finding probability is kind of similar if you see in PMF what we used to do is we used to do summation why because we had individual points now in PDF we cannot do summation okay why because we don't have individual points we have continuous variables then what we do is we integrate okay for summation we need not have interval but for integration we need an interval keep these things in mind okay now this particular thing probability it is of great use when it comes empirical formula or while calculating the Z score we'll see it in our later videos but just remember this this is of utmost importance now coming on to what is a CDF or cumulative distribution function for a continuous variable Coming on to what is the CDF or cumulative distribution function of a continuous variable so if you remember the CDF of discrete random variable was given by all the probability distribution or all, all the possible probability which is equal to or less than the that particular value so for example CDF in the case if X is equal to 2 we took this example for discrete okay X is number of hits so number of hits is 2 was given by probability of number of hits 0 plus probability of number of hits 1 plus probability of number of hits as 2 so you can see of, of 2 is given by 2 and everything which is less than that so this was nothing but for discrete random variable now for continuous the, this this concept continues okay so whenever we are going to calculate the CDF of a we have to take everything which is left so for example if, if this is my function okay and we have to define a point a okay a and say for example this goes till infinity okay so minus infinity now what is to the left of a if we see the left of A is nothing but the probability to the left of A, summation of A, is nothing but area of this particular shaded reason. And what is that? Which is minus infinity to A of and then this fx dx. Okay. So this, this gives the CDF of A, which is all the probability summations to the left of A including a as well okay so that is the reason i have written minus infinity to a fx dx okay now suppose i have to calculate the cdf of anything which is like 150 okay probability like in weight i said 150 lb then i have to and 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 i can see that my weight distribution is from zero okay so zero if if in that case if negative side is not there so i can tell zero to 150 and then my fx dx which is the function of my probability distribution function okay so this will give my cdf continuous random variables the cdf is given as the area area to the left of that particular point including that point as well okay and that the area is nothing but the probability in terms of continuous random variable okay so that is pre precisely the CDF okay now let's summarize what we have studied okay we have studied that random variables are of two type discrete random variables and continuous random variables now discrete random variables if we do the probability distribution is called probability mass function and if we do the 
probability distribution of continuous random variables it gives us probability density function or PDF now CDF is common to both which is called cumulative distribution function for discrete random variables it is the summation of all the probabilities to the left of that particular point for which we want to calculate the CDF so for example if we want to calculate the CDF of CDF of X then it is summation of you know all the probability from X 0 to X okay all all the points to the left CDF in terms of continuous variables is given by the you know summation of that particular points or integration in terms of continuous random variable it becomes integration so f of x dx now if I want to calculate the CDF of a so everything to the left of that particular point including that point okay so this is our summary thank you